Welcome to Engineering Knowledge. Today we are going to discuss direct form 2 structures of IR filter in continuation to our last topic direct form 1 structure for IR filter. In direct form 1 structure we have M plus N plus 1 multiplications, M plus N additions and M plus N plus 1 memory locations that is delays. It is a direct form 1 I have made with the help of some cards and uh, you can say that first in direct form 1 we uh, implement zeros and then we implement poles and it is an intermediate function so in direct form 2 what is the idea that just invert this structure like this now we will implement poles first and zeros after that so that these delays can be in common can be in common and we have single delay working for poles and as well as zeros or you can put it here it should be overlapped so that input single delay will be given okay because in direct form one structure there are two type of delays they are delays here delays here also used double memory elements are used to minimize these memory elements we can overlap these memory elements by inverting the poles and zeros structures simply all poles filter simply all pole filter h to z is placed before all zeros filter h1z we obtain direct form two structure that is by mutual exchange of these structures from here to here Okay, poles is now placed first. That is HZ is represented by H1 represented by H1Z and H2Z cascaded and uh, it is an intermediate function. Now we just swap these H2Z and H1Z that is H2Z is now poles first and then zeros are seconds. You can see the representation again H2Z is the all pole filter that is pole at denominators and h1z is all zeros filter that is all first is this pole and then second is zeros here first was zero and first was pole so it is direct form one now it is direct form two we can see that why it is also used mathematically uh, when we use this h to z all pole filter we cross multiply the term cross multiply the term and solve for wz wz will become xz and this term will be um, minus come here and uh, after putting the inverse z transform inverse z transform we have xz for xn and inverse z transform of wz z minus k resulted the time domain shifting property and wn minus k so this is the first part first part here which will be implemented and resulting the output omega w n minus k that is the shifted time shifted version delayed version of intermediate function which is used in second part check out the second part it's all zero filter again and again we will cross multiply this simply and uh, putting the uh, doing the inverse z transform it will result again this time shifting property time shifting property will result this one so idea is that uh, in first part in first part we will do intermediate uh, we will uh, give the input and find out the shifted version of uh, intermediate function and which will be directly used in output okay in second part so shifting or delaying is to be done single times but in direct form one it was done twice time first in uh, first in zeros and then in poles so it is the direct form one structure xn input and now uh, we have seen from placards that it was just overlapped you can see that it is it was like that and we have swapped the role and overlap the figures like that 
and now single delay will be there single delay and this is shown by this figure minus a1 minus a2 and all the n poles and n again we have taken the same number of poles and m number of zeros m is equal to n and so that delays are same so in this we have that advantage from direct home one that now the memory location or delays are maximum out of one m or n whether m is maximum m is more or n is more if m is five n is six then maximum delays will be six six will be used okay another representation which is we have already discussed in last video that is signal flow graph representation of direct form two or any structure in which we will uh, just replace the addition by nodes and uh, replace the delays by weight second order ir filter having m equal to n equal to 2 uh, it means m equal to n equal to 2 it means two loops at the pole end and add two loops at the zeros end so it will be uh, structured like this if we have two uh, loops at the zero end and two loops at the pole end okay so minus a1 minus a2 b1 b2 now the sec signal flow graph structure will be easy to draw because plus is now shown by a node every plus is known shown by node and delay is shown by weight arrow with weight so now we have one two three four five nodes having the uh, Z inverse and inverse are the delays shown by this uh, branch and A1, A2, A3 and B1, B2, B, B0 are the weights or multipliers and we call it source node and we call it sync node here. Next second is transpose structure. Next topic is transpose structure. Uh, it is based on transposition theorem, which is what reversing the direction of all branch transmittance. Transmittance are the weight multipliers that is a1, a2, and so on. So, and first is the reversing the direction of all branch transmission transmittance and interchanging input and output flow in graph. That is every direction, if it is this one, will be changed by this. Okay. So we can see that in the second order structure, if the signal flow graph is like this, we have studied earlier, this then only difference is the changing the direction of arrow or also, also changing the input and output values. That is xn is changed by now, yn is changed by xn, xn is changed by yn, that is replacing. Arrows are changed, arrows are reversed, everywhere arrows are reversed. You can see arrows are reversed everywhere. Arrows are reversed everywhere. And now this form is known as transposition form. Transposition position theorem says that if we change the reverse, if we reverse the directions and interchange the input and output, the system will remain unchanged. It is important. So we have another form of system we can use in, in different applications. And again, by using this signal flow graph, we can construct a direct form 2 structure again. And it will become, if all the nodes are replaced by additions, and all the Z inverse are replaced by delays, and weights are as it is. So again, you can see that plus, a plus Z inverse, and again, a node is replaced by addition, plus, and Z inverse, and minus A1, minus A1, you can see and b1 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 arrows please note the direction of arrows it is inward now not outward it changed and a flow of signal will form again xn to yn input to output now we have a second order difference equation uh, an example we will last study an example uh, suppose the same example we have taken for direct form one structure in last video y n 2 r cos omega naught y n minus 1 minus r square y n minus 2 plus x n minus r cos omega naught x n minus 1 and after comparing the general form we have earlier uh, find the general form in last video y, x, y n is equal to this value and 
after comparing the values we got this coefficients minus a1 minus a2 b0 b1 and we have drawn the direct form 1 structure here we can check out the multiplication addition and delays on the basis of these general values m plus n plus 1 m plus n m plus n delays addition multiplication for the same question we can have yn is equal to 2r cos same question now we have that coefficients also and we have the structure we know the structure that common delays will be used that z inverse minus a1 minus a2 b1 b0 we can place the values of these coefficient from here and draw the structure draw the structure simply and uh, further we can uh, apply z transform to find out the poles and zeros of the structure and it is the same procedure which we do again and again then first we will apply the z transform z transform means yn minus 1 replaced by 1 delay z inverse by z yn minus 2 is replaced by 2 delay because 2 is here xn is replaced by xz obviously and yn minus 1 is replaced, replaced by z inverse xz now the second step second step is put the all yz terms uh, along the left hand side and take the yz common and then find the ratio of yz upon xz by cross exchanging interchanging the cross terms and we have that 1 minus r cos omega naught z minus 1 upon 1 minus 2r cos omega naught z minus 1 plus r square z minus 2 Here, these are the zeros and these are the poles of the system and we have seen that now uh, there, it is a type of quadratic equation having raised to power 2 higher power is 2 so it must have two poles because quadratic equation has two roots so it must have two poles and it is a simple equation linear equation so it must have single zero so we have single zero and double pole so double pole one two double pole double loops and single zero one again the same structure poles are to be put at uh, first and then is followed by zeros of the system and it is the direct form one direct form two and uh, it's all it's over thank you for watching mm -hmm.